Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, on the 18th of, of August, Ms. Perrin and I are going to do a collaboration on heat injuries. And one of the best ways to deal with heat, heat injuries is prevention. And one of the ways to prevent that is the use of electrolytes. Probably saying, what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are basically nutrients and minerals that the body needs to maintain itself, almost kind of like a little bit of a tune-up, all right? When we sweat, and if we sweat profusely, like right now I'm a little bit warm, it was a warm day, uh, my body is gonna sweat out, uh, you know, just not only sweat, but it's also gonna sweat out minerals that my body needs. It's gonna sweat out potassium, it's gonna sweat out uh, sodium, all right, and, and some other trace elements that the body needs to, you know, allow nerves to function, allow the heart to beat regularly. Okay, now, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, as part of our lesson, there are really four easy electrolyte drinks that you can make. Now, I do have one here that is uh, purchased at a store. During the pandemic, I bought a bottle list in case I got sick and needed electrolytes and I wasn't really feeling well enough to uh, kind of like take care of my, you know, take care of myself too well, All right? But this here, you know, not only does it have sugar, but it also has potassium, zinc, uh, zinc, and chloride. All right. Now, the first one, okay, which is pretty simple, is uh, actually it's magnesium citrate, and you can just buy this at any store. And it's just simple. It, it's as simple as can be. All you need to do, okay, and I'm gonna try and do this with without snowshoe knocking everything over. Okay, um, you're in the way. So we, down we go. He just growled, he didn't, he didn't like that. Okay. Pretty simple. Just take it um, one level teaspoon, put it in jar. Add water. Good. Swish it around a little bit. Okay. Tastes a little sour, but it's replacing the minerals that my body is going to lose. Whenever you're in an environment that has a high heat index, in other words, this high humidity, high temperature, your body is going to be under stress. Your body is always going to try and maintain its constant core temperature of 98.6 degrees. When it goes much above that, the body goes into a state of stress. If it goes too high, such as if the body's temperature goes above 104, now you're in, in the realm of heat stroke and, you know, you could end up in a very, very precarious situation. This is one way to help combat that. Now, another way, and we did this earlier, we made what was called switchel. Now, you don't necessarily have to go through the whole process. I'm just going to make a small batch. Generally, I would take this measuring shot glass, which holds two tablespoons. I'm just going to take a quart, you know, like a half a teaspoon, put it in here. Okay. Add water. Okay. okay, and swish it around a little bit, and then I would drink that down. I can taste a little bit of the vinegar in it. Some people might say, ew, that's disgusting. Well, no, this can save your life, all right? And if you're going to make this, please make sure you get the organic raw unfiltered, okay? If it says, with the mother, uh, the filtered vinegars do not work for some reason they don't have the key nutrients in it in them i should say and it's not going to work as it is it's supposed to now the third drink and i call it uh boulder dam cocktail because um <laughs> well <laughs> 
Boulder Dam, it was first used in Boulder Dam when it was being constructed in uh, just before the Great Depression. A lot of workers, a number of workers actually died from heat stroke. And even though they had water, uh, the heat in that uh, desert environment and the hard toiling labor in the sun, a number of people did die. So how do we alleviate that? There's actually a pretty simple method. Now, this, this simple method, as I call the, uh, I refer to it as the Boulder Dam cocktail, it's simple baking soda, okay? Now, you would take just a half a teaspoon and put it in a quart of water, but we're just gonna take like a little baby spoon, okay? Toss it in the uh, jar here. Mix it all up and, you know, it's a little salty because it's a uh, bicarbonate of soda. So, you know, it has sodium in it, but it's going to balance my electrolytes. So it's going to give me more. It's going to actually help my body combat the heat and I'm less likely to end up with a heat injury. Now, I did mention the fourth thing and that's called mineral water. Hang on. Straight from Poland. This is mineral water. Nalezia Vianka comes from the Southern Alps and uh, it's carbonated mineral water. But what's interesting about it is, is that it has a high mineral content. It has calcium, magnesium, potassium in it. Okay. It comes from Lublin, Poland. Uh, this here, if you drink this, it does have a little bit of an aftertaste, which I don't mind. I actually like. Um, you know, some people complain, I say, you know, time to become an adult. And again, this will help balance your electrolytes when you're in a high heat index situation and you want to try and prevent a heat injury. Now, these aren't magic tricks. You still could get a heat injury, but this will help minimize the chance of that happening. So on that note, we're going to end this little video and we'll go on with the presentation on heat injuries with our illustrious Miss Perrin. Do you have anything to say?